MLB Network has baseball from the Emerald State. Safeco Field in Seattle ought to be a good one here between the Texas Rangers and the Seattle Mariners. It's baseball on MLB Network and it's coming up next. Felix Hernandez is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mariners. What do you have for us on him Danny. Well here he is King Felix also known as the King. Big arm five pitch mix mid to upper 90s fastball slider curve changeup and split. Some people think he throws too many pitches. Well I know one thing this guy's been a good pitcher for a long time and he is one of the few aces in the game of baseball on his way into the box. There's a look at Shinsu Chu. So that means we are ready to get this one underway and a swing and a miss. So a first pitch strike as we're underway here this evening. Hernandez now on 0 and 2. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. And we'll see some 40s before things are said and done tonight. Right now, 51 degrees at first pitch. On oh, a nice changeup that time gets him to swing right through it as the leadoff man is down on strikes to open up the ball game. A chance now to look at the batting order for the visiting Rangers. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, you have to love the thump that Joey Gallo is providing at the plate right now. The guy is in the middle of the lineup and when he's in the middle things just happen. Guys in front of him get on he drives them in and if not he has the ability to get things started and set the guys up behind him. He's a force. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. Here's Elvis Andrus now. The head to head history with King Felix. He enters with 29 hits and 102 tries. 15 strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. One ball, no strikes to count. A ball and a strike. Just getting started here in Seattle. Another one two delivery. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Three up three down three strikeouts not too shabby. Bottom of the first straight ahead we're scoreless on MLB Network. Giovanni Gallardo the right hander from Mexico gets the ball here. What do we need to know here Danny. Hey Giovanni Gallardo has been around for a long time came up with the Milwaukee Brewers not the overpowering pitcher he was early in his career. He's 88 to 91 miles an hour. Good curveball good slider will throw in occasional changeup. He's a power pitcher no longer. He needs to hit the corners, especially with his fastball. With a moment here in Seattle, a look at the Mariners' starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, Matt, I'm going to be watching for the speedster, D. Gordon. This guy hit over 300 last year, and man, it was impressive. Just hitting over 300 is really something special to look at. He's a consistent hitter. I love watching his approach. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He'll be there again this year if he continues to stay within himself. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And a slider tails outside for ball one. Head to head history with Giovanni Gallardo. He's gone six for ten. Two of those hits were for home runs. A one one. Fouled off again and now he's in a one and two hole. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes and that will retire the side. He played an inning. No score here on MLB Network. 
Here's the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. He'll get us started in the top of the second. First pitch of the at bat. Hit on the ground toward the left. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. All right, guys, here's Seattle's defensive alignment. And guys, what I want you to focus on today is this is one of the new age teams in the game that really rely on statistics and the numbers. And the numbers tell them that they're a better team defensively, moving guys around and shifting as much as they can. Joey Gallo is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Liner toward right center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. In now the power hitting outfielder, Nomar Mazzara. The head to head history with King Felix. He's gone three for 11. He also has one home run. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So Next for Seattle, Mitch Henniger. He's set Leading to lead off the, the home half of the second. Right fielder. Here's the first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. He couldn't get his hands through there, and it's one and one. The one one. Is a fastball looked at for a strike. Struck him out. Time for a look at the Rangers on D. And let's take a look at second baseman Ruben at Odor. Pound for pound, one of the strongest guys in the game. 30 home run potential, but a premium defender at second base. And if you don't slide properly into second base, he is going to let you know about it. The wind up and the 0 1. Hey. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Mazar is under it and he makes the catch for the second out. That ain't fair. Next in at the plate is Ryan Healy. Head-to-head -head history with Giovanni Gallardo. Just a 3-for-13 batting line. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Start of that swing a bit too early. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? There's another slider. That's back-to-back -back good sliders. And this guy's breaking ball is really good. And when he's throwing it, well like he is and he's confident with it he can throw it three or four times in a row a really good slider in this one. another 0 2 coming from Gallardo swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning one two three go the Mariners will move to the third with no score. So next to the plate for Texas, Ronald Guzman. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. No balls in one strike. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Missed with a slider. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And the throw is there to record the first out. At the plate, Robinson Chirinos, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. A knee high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. Just missed outside. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0 2 fastball just off the corner, and I mean just off the corner. Now look out as that pitch sends him tumbling to the ground. And
and he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. And here's the second generation big leaguer, Delino DeShields. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. You see a guy taking swings like this. I think as a pitcher right here, you've got to expand the zone even more. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Make it nine straight here to start. Here now is Mike Zanino, seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Behind 0-2 now. The 0-2 delivery. Right down Main Street, caught him looking. Digging in now for the Mariners, Andrew Romine. First offering on its way. Swing and a miss on a nice biting slider. So far, this has been a very good outing for this guy. Listen, he doesn't have the best stuff, but what he needs to do, and he's doing it right now, throwing strikes early, trying to initiate a lot of contact. The more pitches that the hitters see off this guy, the better chance they have to go ahead and square something up. So he needs to continue to attack early and get some quick outs, attack the strike zone on the first and second pitch. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. So coming to the plate, Yermo Heredia. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he'll turn and try the jump throw to first. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Mariners are down in order. We'll have Shinsu Chu at the plate now. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue, or does somebody score here? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Here's Rodney Odor now. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Romine is after it. He makes the running play. Two down. Digging in for his second at bat, Elvis Andrews. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. We'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. And he falls behind now, 2 0. Oh. Remember, he was a strikeout victim last time up, but this at bat seems to be a totally different direction. He's showing good patience now, and he's got a real good count at 2-0. 3-0 to him now. And a good comeback there. It's 3-1. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs. 3-0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. Here's a bouncing ball now headed for the shortstop, Segura. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Here's D. Gordon now. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Gene Segura standing in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Popped up. Gallardo has a play, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Here's Nelson Cruz now. First pitch on its way from Gallardo. Fouled away. He 
Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. Now on 0 and 2, I don't think we're going to see any more hittable fastballs. If we see one at all, it'll probably be extended out of the zone, or at least that'll be the intent. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. He's been pitching really well so far in this one as we cruise into the middle innings. One of the big reasons why, a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. One left for Seattle through four. Still tied, nothing, nothing. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. He'll be the first to greet Felix Hernandez to start the inning. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. The windup and the 0-1. Hard hit ball to second. And the Rangers are in the hit column. Nice adjustment by the batter right there. You cannot fault the pitcher for going to that well again. First one he swings and misses through, and this one the batter's able to execute and drive it for a base hit. Ready for another chance. Joey Gallo hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. As a look, now the pitch. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Joey Gallo with a two run shot as that will give the Rangers a two to nothing lead. I can tell you one thing you might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys you're going to get exactly what he got a really bad result throw on to first so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning now with the plate Ronald Guzman he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Hit hard on the ground is short. Segura fields it cleanly. Throw in time at first for route number two. Up next for the Rangers, Robinson Chirinos looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will. Just to the right of the chalk. A fair ball. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. Yeah, I think he was sitting on the fastball, so he got the changeup. He was way out in front of it, but he kept his hands back long enough to keep it fair down the line. That's not always easy to do. Hernandez comes set. Here comes the first pitch. Drilled to the right side. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And a relay home is in time. And he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. But two here in the Rangers half of the inning. And they come on this two-run home run. Middle of the night from Safeco. Two-nothing Texas. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. He'll start things out here in the Leading home fifth, the and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first Kyle. half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. And it's fouled away. Here's the one and two delivery. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. So striding forward now, Ryan Healy. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, and two now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. 
This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone, and when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, looks like he stepped in a big old bucket assassin. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Ryan Healy becomes the second out in the bottom of the fifth. And he gets ahead 0-1. Oh, a lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Drilled on the ground is short, and that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. And that's a base hit right there on a hanging two-strike changeup. And that's one we like to call a hanger right there. You see it high, you let it fly. Nice job by the offensive player. Oh, and one count and the pitch. This is a foul ball. Zanino is off the first with two away. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Mer to the plate now for Texas is the DH, Shinsu Chu. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. This is line to left, and a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. The relay, but it won't be in time, and it's a leadoff double. Just an absolute laser that time, screaming off the bat, if you will, and Showtrack tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. Here's Rognit Odor now. Line drive to center field. Catch made out there in center field as the runner will tag from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Stepping in, Elvis Andrews. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here it comes now to Andrews. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Breaking ball in for a strike. This is where as a batter you've got to find a way to put something in the outfield. Get something elevated. I know you've got to battle with two strikes and protect. But if anything is belt or above you've got to swing. A bouncer up the middle. Slide and a stop by Gordon. What a way to get it out. Two gone now. That was exceptional. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. Heading out towards shallow right. Waiting on it is Henniger. Makes the catch, and that'll retire. The That'll bring in Guillermo Heredia now. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. Hey, I can only take you inside the mind of the batter right here. I had a lot of swinging bucks in my day. As soon as that ball hits the dirt in front of you, you are getting it down the first baseline. When you smell a knock, I don't care what it looks like, you are getting it down the line. Well, number two, shortstop. Gene Segura standing in as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. and all. Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. Andrus, the relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. Next will be the designated hitter, Nelson Cruz. He singled his last time up. Ball one. Count even now at one and one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Gallo is there. He's there to make the catch, and here comes the runner from third, as this should get him on the board. 
And they are on the board. It's a sack fly and an RBI to make this a three to one game now. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And a little self preservation down at first as he pulls that. Stepping into the box, Joey Gallo. And he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. Now to the plate, Nomar Mazzara. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Popped him up. And that'll get down for a base hit. Hey, there's a case of a jam sandwich right there. Not that bad of a pitch, but he's able to just be strong enough to loop that one into left field. Dan, sometimes a jam sandwich tastes much better than a rocket right at somebody. Now here comes the Mariner skipper out to the mound. And his arrival is going to mark the end of the evening now for Felix Hernandez. So he'll wind up going six and a third, and he's kept his club in it to this point, though he cannot win the ball game. Erasmo Ramirez comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. Stepping in now, Ronald Guzman. That's popped up. And this will land foul. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Aredia. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. At the plate, Robinson Chirinos. Head to head with Erasmo Ramirez. He's one for four. First delivery to him on the way. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. There's a late swing and a miss, strike two. You know, that can really be an effective pitch to a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone, so if you can place it a little above it, they have a heart. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. First pitch on its way from Gallardo. Line towards center field. And he's going to make the play over toward his right, and there are two away now. Here now is Mike Zanino. Last time through was a base hit. Leaves a slider right over the middle. One of the keys to pitching late in the game's first pitch strikes, and this guy's rolling along. So far, over 70% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And he will strike him out. 10 now in the ball game. And and here's the second generation big leaguer Delino DeShields. He's one for two in this one. He's set. Here it comes. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's one and oh. The one oh. In the air out to right. Giving chase is Hedegar. Makes the play one away. Striding forward now is the DH, Shin Su Chu. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. Right side and right into the shift. Right to Gordon. And quickly, there are two away. How about it? Stepping up now, Rufnet Odor. Head to head with Erasmo Ramirez. He's just two for nine. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. The 
the 0-1 pitch. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infield. And he'll step on the bag himself. Standing in, Andrew Roman. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Gallardo back to work as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man here. Nothing in one. Lifted in the air out towards left center. On the move is DeShields. He's got it one away. Ready now, Guillermo Heredia. One for two in the ball game thus far. And good movement on the slider there from Gallardo. It's strike one. One run, five hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. He's feeling it out there on the mound, just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. Fouled off. The 0-2 once more. And this is yanked hard down the left field line. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. That's what you call a clutch piece of hitting. Down two runs, he puts himself in scoring position and brings the tying run to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. count and the pitch lifted down the line in left and that will end up a foul ball can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball that hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it fouling it away got him swinging on the fastball there D Gordon becomes out number two this inning pretty textbook pitching right there jump ahead in the count 0 2 and then start working outside the zone easier said than done but that's the way you do it Riding into the box, Gene Segura. Fourth trip to the plate now, and he's hitless to this point. Yeah, he and his teammates have really been shut down by some very good pitching in this one. Been fun for a guy like me to watch. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Back to back. Ready to start the ninth as we get a stunning shot there of the Seattle skyline on a great night for baseball. Striding in to start the ninth, Elvis Andrews as they look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. Got him to reach for it there as this is grounded to short. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Adrian Beltre. Head to head with Erasmo Ramirez. He brings a 353 batting line. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. One out, nobody on. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. You know what that ugly swing tells me right there? This guy's got his good slider work, and that thing's got depth and bite. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Aredia. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Joey Gallo will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. He pulls this one into right. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. In now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. As he'll send the first one he sees on the ground to second. Throw on to first gets him and the side is with Rangers leave one and it's still three to one. Good bite to the slider and he takes strike one. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. 
He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Odor going to have to hurry on to first, and that is a huge out to start the bottom of the ninth. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. In there, 0-1. Snuck that high hard one by him without a swing, but that's a pitch and location he can do a lot of damage with. Got to be careful doing that. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's his wind up. I don't know if it's just flat stuff, but he's getting a lot of swings outside the zone and he's having a big game. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Third baseman number 15. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Grilled right back up the middle. Andrus has it. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. Hey, listen, in baseball, we don't see very many complete games any longer because of pitch counts. But listen, he was good from the first inning through the ninth. Well-deserved complete game victory. Tonight's ball game comes to a close three to one the final the Rangers used a nice fifth inning to take the lead and they never gave it back. Giovanni Gallardo is the winning pitcher of record. So that's a wrap for us here tonight for my partners in the booth Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak and the entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night everybody. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rangers. Three runs on seven hits. No errors. He left three men on base. For the Mariners, one run on six hits. No errors. They left four men on base. The winning pitcher is Giovanni Gallardo. The loss goes to Felix Hernandez. Time of the ball game, two hours and 33 minutes. A reminder that extra post-game trains will be available at the King Street Station, located just north of Safeco Field. Metro Transit buses are also available at stations on First Avenue, Royal Brom Way, and Edgar Martinez Drive.